Okay, got a bit of an update on the uh, Suzuki Bergman 650 timing chain uh, escapade. Right, this is the new chain. As you can see, no play at all. Uh, I did put a new chain on it and a new tensioner. Um, I've had a lot of problem actually, and it's all down to uh, the Suzuki service manual. Uh, I'll explain to that. If you're going to do a timing chain on one of these, um, ignore what the Suzuki service manual says because it is wrong and I will show you why it's wrong um, if you look at the book which I'm showing here it says in the book it says match the arrow marked on the exhaust cam sprocket one okay, which is this one here that they're showing okay to the cylinder head face which is here, which is fine. Okay, it says then to match the arrows marked on the intact cam sprocket free to the 15 roller pins counted from the exhaust cam sprocket two. Which what they're saying is, is this here. So you count the pins up to three, which should count to 15. Now, before I took my old chain apart, here I did put some. Let's get a screwdriver so I can show you. I did put some black marks here and then on the post here. Okay, now when I put the new chain on and I marked it up, as Suzuki said, with the 15 pins up here, I put it back together and the bike wouldn't start. Now, I was assuming assumption is always the mother of all fuck ups that the Suzuki service manual would be correct now out of desperation about six hours later after checking everything doing the compression test well incidentally I did have 180 psi with the compression test so I didn't really think that there was a problem with the compression but in desperation I've taken the chain off again and put it back to my markings now if I count the pins here Okay, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen to three. Okay, now they're saying you do it, you pull this cam round so that you've got fifteen pins. Now if you put it on fifteen, as the book says, it will not start. Now it's only one tooth out and in there, but it's enough for it not to start. And it won't do valve damage as I've discovered. But it will not start so before you take the chain off make your own marks ignore the book and put it back to your own marks because if you do it to 15 pins like they're saying it won't start now I'm normally pretty trusting of the Japanese and their service manuals are normally pretty good but I think the poor guy that wrote this really needs to be pulling himself down on the sword and if I was behind him I would probably push him because I don't like wasting time and I've wasted six hours now so I'll put it back together and uh, I'll run it up and we'll see what it sounds like and uh, maybe I'll give you a little video of that. Okay.